Hi, this is uh, John Melcher, and uh, I am an affiliate with uh, Mint H and T, just like what you probably are. And the reason for this little video is to help you do port forwarding on a specific uh, router if you own it. Um, and it would happen to be for the uh, Netgear um, router that I use for my uh, port forwarding for uh, obviously for my miner. So I wanted to go over that kind of quick and show you where you can go to get the resources and then we'll go through a real quick one into the router as well. Okay, so first um, I want to uh, share my screen to show you where in your Mint uh, dashboard where you can get the information for other routers which also includes the Netgear. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm gonna go grab that here real quick. So hang tight. Uh, okay, so. Da, 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 da. So here we are. So obviously you have to log into your uh, dashboard uh, email uh, and your uh, password that you create when you affiliated. And so when you come into it, you should go straight here to your, uh, to my profile. And if you come down here to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see um, a little chat button here. Click on that. And the next page comes up here it says search for help, search articles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Click inside that particular box. And then what you'll see there is application or setup. You want to click on hotspot setups. And this is where you're going to see you know, your port 40. So click on that. And then what you're gonna see here is, obviously this is what Sam wrote about port forwarding, hotspot relayed. And that's what you're gonna see um, once you get your hotspot up and running and you got your green lights. And you know, day one, it may not show relayed. Day two, most likely will show relayed. And that's where you wanna um, be aware of that, but you can set this up before it even gets to that point. So you can, you may be able to just zip right on through this, not even worry about it. So anyways, again, this is where the resource is for that. Mint's done a really good job of telling you um, if your monitor's in relay mode, this is what you need to do. And you scroll down a little bit further, it tells you what TCP port you want, which I'm just going to tell you is 44158. There are also um, two other uh, port forwarding uh, numbers that you need, and that would be, write this down, 22 and 443. Now you need to add them individually when you go to do your port forwarding. So first you wanna do the uh, 44158 and make sure you just enable TCP, TCP only, not TCP UDP or whatever the case is. You'll see that in a minute. And then um, once you get that done, you come back and add in 22, finish that one up, come back add and add, come back in and add uh, 443. And you'll have everything that you need um, for your port forwardings for your miner. Uh, just so you know, 22 and 443, those are for um, any network upgrades, uh, things they need to add to your, um, to your miner. Uh, administratively, whatever the case is, they need to do upgrades. So that's what those those particular ports are for. So if you come down here a little bit further, you're going to find out um, that there are um, some of the more widely used routers that would be Xfinity, Aris, Nest, Google Mesh, AT&T. And it says here, be sure to choose your specific router. So I guess AT&T may have more than one. And Netgear, which is what this is about this afternoon, and Asus. So and then it goes on there. If those um, do not help you out and you have a different one, um, there's a little video link down here. You can click on that and you can watch that and maybe that'll help you out as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now is go through my neck gear and I'm going to just uh, move back out of here, close it all up and I'm going to shut down my dashboard. And uh, close that. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up, um, uh, not that. I don't want to say that. Where'd it go? Well, I'm going to have to come here. Dun -dun. Hang with me, folks. All right. So the address to get to the network. Uh, Netgear uh, address is you're going to go HTTP colon two forward slashes router 
login.net and that's all together. And um, your router number may come up. Mine happens to be C7800 or 77800, however you want to say it. So Netgear Gateway C7800, that's what we're going to be dealing with with that. And uh, where'd it go? It went away. I'll have to go grab it again. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what was that? It was a router. There we go. All right. So obviously, what you're going to see here is going to want to use your username. Oh, well, if you're smart, if you're smart, what you'll do is um, you may want to go ahead and do this ahead of time. Is you can go to ooh, let's see if we can get this page in there. There we go. Uh, not very good. Anyways, you can go to Netgear and log in there, and you can print off um, how to add a custom port to your uh, for forty services for your Netgear router. So that's what I did. I went there first. I printed off this page so I could follow it line by line. But first, and it's going to tell you you need to add your username, which on the piece of paper there is going to say admin, and then hopefully when you got your router that. Uh, you wrote down you you created your own personal password to get into your router i didn't do that the first time or actually what happens when you have to reset your router for some reason your internet goes down or something like that my son would come in many times and reset it and he just used whatever passwords that he came up with so i was tearing my hair out at one point and finally i had to ask him hey have you ever done this before and he goes Oh, yeah. So <laughs> just be aware. Create your account with Netgear. Write it down so you don't forget it. Otherwise, you have to go through some additional steps to uh, reset everything. Okay. So here we are. It's loading up. And we're going to give it a couple minutes. All right. So what you're going to see on this dashboard is everything that you have connected from your ISP and any other devices in your in your home on your network. OK, so um, what you can see here on the wireless side of the house, Rustic Inc. 5 obviously is going to give you the name of your your uh, router and the keyword and the password to get into it. If you need to just verify it, whatever the case is, um, in my case, attached devices, it shows I have eight. And I have no USB drives and none of the other stuff. So that's pretty basic. So the first thing you're going to do, um, you're going to come up here in the top. You're going to, there's nothing on the basic side that you're going to do. We want to go to advanced. So click on that. And this is going to pop up all your cable information, internet ports, wireless settings, and your 5G settings. So you can look at that. I, I don't pay any attention to this because it's, it's all good to go. So we want to come down, scroll down on the left-hand side for advanced setup. You click on that. And the drop-down shows you wireless settings. And you want port forwarding, port triggering. Click on that. Wait a second. And there we go. So in this case, I've already done this um, a few times. But you can see that I have set up uh, um, my miner, which is cool name is uh, the Fantastic Hemp Quail, set up on TCP 44158, set that up first, and then I did a heal for helium updates, TCP 22, like I mentioned before, and again, helium updates on TCP 443. So those are the three things that you're gonna wanna port forward. So how do you do this? First off, you're going to come down here. You're going to hit Add Custom Service. Comes up a little bit. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so here's the custom service. So you're going to put in a service name. If it's going to be for your miner, um, you, there's some identification information on the back of your miner. You can put that in there. But like I did, I just went curling and I gave it the name of my miner, which is what I typed in there. Okay, service type. Um, you want to go TCP only, so you'll click on the little choices, and you got the combination of TCP, UDP, or just TCP. That's the one you want, TCP only, 
okay tcp only click on it and you'll be good to go and so you have a um, external starting port and an external ending port this is where you're going to type in in our case we're, we're, we'll do the four four uh, what is it four four one five eight and that's where you're going to put in here is four four one five eight well let's just do this we're going to go curling and we'll go uh fantastic uh imp. well that's what mine is and we might as well just go ahead and do this tcp this is going to be type in 44158 bingo and we're going to do that again here 44158 at your choice and so it's, it's going to automatically um, carry that down to your internal starting port. So there it is. You don't need to put anything there. You don't need to put anything there because you're going to go ahead and select one of these radio buttons down here for whatever um, device name that you currently have on there. In my case, um, you're going to see this KLK WIFC 0504 D2. That is what's, oh, where is that? That is part of your... Uh, your miner's number. So if you recognize that, you could click on that, which is what I did for mine. Okay. And so once you click on that, it will automatically boink, pop it right in there. Okay. And it also put in 44158 there, right in the internal ending port. And that's all you need to do right there. So if that's all you need to do, you'll just come up here, you'll hit apply. And this cancel, in this case, I'm going to cancel it because I don't want to have to worry about any of that stuff or duplication is what I mean. So there we go. So that's the first one, 44158. So we'll go back through this again. Add custom service. Come up here, service name. We're going to make this, uh, da, 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 what was that? Oh yeah, I put helium uh, updates. And again, TCP only. And here we're going to put 22. 22. And go. Then we're going to come down here. It's, it's automatically going to fill that in once we select this. And this one, we're going to do 19. See what it did? Put 22 there and put the end of the 19, which is the IP address. And boom, we're done with that. Click apply. And it'll just pop up there. So 22 is done. Okay. So now we're going to do, we'll do another one, add custom service. Again, service name, I put helium updates. Make sure TCP only. And this last number was 443. 443, external starting, external ending. And then we're going to come down to, oh, make sure you get that in there. I'm going to come down and I'm going to select uh, 192.168.019, which I did for the others, populates it in there. That's all you need to do. And if you're all done, click apply. I'm going to click cancel. And now you should have all three of these uh, port forwarding uh, information in this table. And that's all you need to do. And once you're all done with that, I like to make sure that everything's good to go. And I just click apply. And I double check everything. Curly, fantastic, hemp quail, TCP 44158, 192.168.019. 22, same stuff, 443, same stuff. So you're all done right there, right? So you can go ahead and you can log out. And it says, thank you for using the Netgear web-based gateway configuration utility. Goodbye. And so that pretty much wraps that up for this. So I don't know who um, your specific uh, ISP is that's providing your internet service. But this, what I just showed you, is specific to 
uh, the Netgear router, which I own personally, I because I needed a more high speed deal for my son with his gaming. So, so just real quick, um, I would suggest that um, print off a copy of your router information step by step on how to do port forty, and just keep it in a book somewhere. I keep mine in my leather brown book here. My leather brown book here. I keep all these loose papers, same stuff, same book I use to uh, keep track of all my affiliates and people I've talked to, which uh, I will have to add um, will help you uh, when it comes to tax time. Because if you can verify that you're using your internet, using your laptop, printer, uh, administrative stuff like that, you've got it all right there. And you can say, I've talked to 500 people and 250 of those are my affiliates or whatever the case are. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, uh, my phone number, area code 360-631-6056. My uh, email address is jmlchr, the number four at gmail.com. So that's it, guys. And uh, I think that's it for now. Um, you can all, <coughs> excuse me, you can also catch me on um, our Mint um, Discord site. And I go by John Four there. And I'm also uh, have my own uh, Discord or chat page, which is John's HT team chat. You can catch me there as well. So anyway, guys, that's it. I hope this was helpful. And uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, get out there and help set up the Helium Network. It's probably one of the best uh, projects I think I've ever been involved in. And I love the fact that we can get a miner for free. We just got to buckle down and help them set up their network. And we get paid for, for hosting their device for free. And um, compensation that you, if you don't know, is 30% on the miner that you host and 20% on anybody that you, you refer and they affiliate with us. So um, it's pretty easy to make some money in this thing. It's, uh, the passive income is incredible. All right, guys, you take care and uh, we'll catch you on the other side, right? All right, bye-bye.